Hi everyone. I just wanted to take a couple minutes and talk about what I think are the best routers for free hand carving of signs. Now I have here a couple of DeWalt's. I'm not going to get into the debate of you know DeWalt versus Rigid versus Makita or Milwaukee. I'm I'm sorry Makita. Um, but what I want to talk about is the style of the router. In my opinion, what is a good router to uh, look for? Whether it be you know whatever model, whatever brand it is, uh, what what should you look for? Now my workhorse that I use uh, ninety percent of the time is this compact router from uh, Dewalt. It's a DW P six eleven. Um, its uh, speed range is from 16,000 to 27,000 RPM. I run it at max speed all the time. That's the only speed I use. <clears throat> the main reason is I'm, I'm working with small bits, quarter inch bits. Uh, sometimes the cutting head is only a sixteenth of an inch on my, some of my flat bottoms. So uh, the speed uh, is your friend when you're doing uh, freehand carving and it, uh, it just works best that way. And so what I have here is uh, this one I've modified a little bit because of its design. Um, it only had one port to, uh, that was open that you could see into. And because of what its intended purpose is, uh, that's fine. But for sign carving, I cut a second port. And initially I did not have this dust collector on it. Uh, so that allowed the dust to the sawdust that I'm generating to have an extra place to go rather than all of it coming back at me. And so uh, that's why I cut that out so that I could uh, see in there. Then I found this dust collector uh, little attachment and this works great. I don't recall the model offhand. I'll have a link for it uh, for all this stuff in, my, uh, in the comments below and uh, you'll be able to see what exactly uh, these, uh, these things are. Uh, this works great. It, it pulls everything away. It keeps the uh, work area fairly clean. A little bit escapes, but it's uh, much better than without it, especially when I'm doing background cleanup. Uh, it, it, really, uh, it really makes a difference. It also, none of the dust is coming out in my face. It's getting pulled in, and so I can see better. I don't have to uh, worry about eye protection. Well, although I, I still wear my glasses, I uh, probably should have safety glasses, but um, very little is coming out in my face. So the other thing that you'll notice is uh, this is not the stock uh, base plate. The stock plate is just a little D plate uh, with a flat edge rounded on the, uh, on the other side. Uh, I got this from makeawoodsign.com. And uh, this works out really great. I think this is probably uh, the, the best thing you could do for yourself is to have a base like this with a couple of handles um, so that you can rest your wrist on your workpiece and move it around. You have a lot better control this way. And you know, I, you, know you can use uh, whatever, whatever brand router you want. Having a base plate like this is going to make uh, a world of difference in that. So this guy, you know, is a, a relatively small router and uh, it, it does all my work. If I only had one router or was only going to choose one router, it would be this guy uh, right here, hands down, if I could only afford one. Uh, my second router also functions as a backup to that one, sure, should it uh, break uh, or something. But uh, I generally just use this uh, to do edging. Uh, right now I've got a round over, a uh, half inch round over bit in there to do uh, edges on signs. I use a uh, 45 degree chamfer bit a lot on my signs. And uh, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. That's its purpose. I can have, uh, in this, I can put in a half inch collet or a quarter inch collet. And it works out great. The, um, this is the DW618. It's a two and a quarter horsepower router, so it's it's quite a bit heavier than the other guy. Uh, you could use it, you know, if you already have one this size in your shop <clears throat> and you wanted to get started carving. You could use it, you know. It it I wouldn't if I already had one of these. I would have started with it uh, before getting 
uh, getting the 611, but I bought the 611 before I bought this. It just helps me with the throughput. I can do the edging. I have this all set up for edging. I just pull it off the shelf, do it real quick. I don't have to switch bits and it allows me to work a lot faster. So, uh, you know, in, in my opinion, if, uh, you know, you could do signs with this. I like the smaller, the compact size better. I have, uh, I also have a DeWalt uh, 621 that is a plunge router. It, I can't change the base uh, because of its design. And uh, I've tried using it on some signs and it's, it's just, it's very big. It's a lot heavier, even though it's only a two horsepower and this is two and a quarter, but with the plunge uh, base, it's, it's a lot heavier and it's um, not something that I like to use. You could, you could do it. You could, you know, you could uh, try it. If you have something of that size, uh, give it a try, see if it works for you. But, you know, I, I would recommend smaller, better, you know, the lot, you know, the lot of signs that you would be doing, uh, you're not taking a lot of material out as you carve. And this little compact router has a lot of power and I've never ran into a problem where I had to switch to a bigger router because of that. And, um, you know, I go typically, uh, don't go much more than a quarter of an inch deep in most signs. So that, um, that plays into it a little bit, but so I just wanted to take a minute and uh, share this information with you. Hope it helps you out. Um, you know, there's always a debate, you know, what's best, you know, DeWalt, Rigid, uh, Bosch makes routers, um, you know, you got Makita's and, you know, I'm probably missing some others and, uh, I didn't want to get into that debate, but I wanted to talk about the style of router that would work best in my opinion for signs. So thanks a lot. And if you haven't yet, please hit the subscription button down below. So you know, when I have uh, new signs or uh, yeah, new, uh, new videos coming out and hit the bell icon and that will give you a notification so that uh, you know when I have new information available. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye.